So here's a max heap. Largest things on the top. Parents are larger than the children. Okay. So if I want to add something to that heap, I'm going to add it to the next available space in the heap. And in this case, the next available space will be down here. So if I'm going to add a 27, I add it right there. Okay. But now, of course, I've got a heap violation because my parent is smaller than my child. And this is a max heap, and the parents have to be bigger than their children. So the way that I solve that is that I swap the 27 and the 10. Okay. So I swap out the 27, and I swap out the 10. 27 moves up, 10 moves down. That's pretty good. I've fixed that heat violation. But then, oh no, I've made another one. I've got another violation of my properties of my heap right here. So I can fix that again. I just swap my 27 and my 18. 27 moves up, 18 moves down. I fix that violation. And how does my heap look? Everything looks good in the world. Okay. So by continually checking to see whether the node you've added is larger than the parent, and if it is, you just swap them, you then fix the heap. And this is called, so to add something, you insert at the next available space, and then you trickle up. Okay? So you swap the elements with their parents. Oops. So how do I actually remove something from the heap? How do I remove something from the heap? The way that you do that is that you always, always, always in a heap, you always take the root element away. Okay? So in a heap, you always remove the root. So if I remove my root, that leaves a bit of a hole in my tree. And so what am I going to replace it with? Well, I could replace it with the higher value node underneath it, and that would just move the hole down, and I could keep doing that. But the easiest thing to do is to remove the last element in the tree and insert that into this node. That, of course, has created a heap violation. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to swap it with one of the children until it finds a resting place where it's smaller than the parent and bigger than the children. Okay. If I keep swapping one of the children into an empty node, I have to do that until I get to the bottom of the tree. So you remove the root node, you replace with the last element in the heap, and then you trickle down. And to trickle down, what you do is you swap with the larger of the children. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 10. I'm going to swap it with the 27, because that's bigger than 18, 17, excuse me. So now I've got 27 in my root, and I've got my 10 here. And then I take my 10, and I trickle it down, 
and I swap it with the larger of the two children and so that it ends up here. Okay. And it's important that you choose the larger of the two children because if, for example, I'd put my, I originally had my, let me put it back to how it was, I had 18, 27, and 10. If I move the 17 up, then I'm going to have a heat violation, right? So if I take the larger of the two children, then I'm not going to have a heat violation. So to add something to the tree, you put it in the next available space. To remove something from the heap, we always take away the root, and then we trickle down until it gets to where it should reside. 